it is six days <laughs> six days until we fly to florida oh okay i feel a bit sick i'm very nervous i'm not a nervous flyer but when i do go long haul overseas i do get just nervous and anxious i just do i don't know why welcome back i thought in this video i would do sort of like a vlog style let's get ready for the holiday together because that's fun for me maybe not for you no in all seriousness i thought it would be good for you to see how i get ready for a long haul flight um so i'm going to be packing in this video showing you what i'm going to be taking some useful things that you may not have thought of that you think oh yeah that's a good idea to have that just in case kind of thing so i'm going to be showing you how I get my wheelchair ready for the long haul flight. You will have seen already the big reveal with Daisy Bell. I'm currently in the past, <laughs> it's Tuesday. So I'm gonna be turning her on Friday. So in here I've got all of our travel documents, but I've also got this that I don't know if you will have seen, but this is what I made for Daisy. It's a pretend ticket and it says, um, it's got Virgin Atlantic. See you real soon. I made it. I made it um, on Canva, which is a really fantastic website if you want to make Instagram story templates, thumbnails for YouTube. Oh, that's the ticket. So let's go upstairs and start packing. Oh, this room here is like our spare room. It's like a little kind of box room type thing, but it's got loads of storage in, which is amazing. It's got a big cupboard here and a massive cupboard just here as well. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I'm just so excited. I, I'll show you our suitcases um, because it's me sean and db so you might be interested to know how we kind of travel you know with me in my wheelchair and sean having to pretty much carry everything so um the first case that we are going to be taking is this little number we bought this back with us from australia from the reject shop any australian followers out there then you'll know all about the reject reject shop i'm sure but yeah i love the reject shop sean See, we've had to sort of hide all the suitcases because obviously Daisy has no idea. <sighs> so Sean has got this and he he reckons that this bag is about 20 years old. I think he took this travelling with him when he travelled around Europe. Um, so that's really handy. So he can put that on his back and then he can wheel the wheelie. Um, yeah, so it's a backpack and it's got all of the support and stuff in as well. And also I was thinking I could probably jump in the backpack and then he could carry me around. Daisy Bell will probably take her Tinkerbell wheelie case, um, which she can stuff full. Sean is going to be taking this massive bag, which is um, going to fit loads in like my laptop and all of our goodies. Because one of like the m major hacks, I would say, if you're travelling with children is take like so many snacks loads of snacks loads of food if you're going on a long haul flight even if you're not going on a long haul flight just take loads and loads of food for kitty witties i think it's nine hours but when you've done australia three times twice with a child <laughs> nine hours is nothing i am not a hundred percent sure on what my onboard bag is going to be yet i've got so many options and ideas i'm not entirely sure but le let me show you what i'm going to pack this is my comprehensive <laughs> packing list that I have written about five months ago. Um, I'm not going to Mary Kondo it kind of thing. It's all about the spoon saving as well. I also find when you're sat there and you're folding things, it can be quite strenuous on your back and stuff. So this is how I'm going to do it. Mm. <laughs> We have three t-shirts all folded inside each other. We have two strappy tops, again, folded and put away. And then we've got the two crop tops and then I'm gonna take some long jazzy pants for the evening in case I need them. And then I'm gonna take a nice denim dress which is gonna be nice and cool. And then I'm gonna take three pairs of denim shorts and a comfy pair. And then I'm gonna take two bikinis, one one piece, a little rash vest for the water parks and a jumper because I've heard of the air conditioning can be quite cold. On to toiletries and things now. I'm gonna take minimal makeup, a little bit of foundation, powder, concealer, a little bit of eyebrow and some waterproof mascara. Waterproof mascara is amazing when you go to a hot country on holiday but I probably won't be wearing that much at all because I've got the sun cream on. Um, I put that in a little pouch. 
Then for my beauty products, I've got this lovely wash bag from Pixie, which is available on their website. Then I'm going to put things like sunscreen, deodorant, fake tan, and um, I'm going to take some hair products and some face products as well. I might actually downsize those shampoos and take put them into a different container. Moving over to my medications, this is very, very important. I take buscapan uh, because sometimes I can get abdominal cramps, um, you know, when you're eating strange food and your diet's a little bit different. Senecot because I do get bunged up, especially when I'm in a hot country, just in case you need to know, <laughs> wind settlers, because, you know, when I fly, I do get wind. And um, Imodium because you never know. Dioralite, again, because you never know. Antihistamine creams. Um, ibuprofen, paracetamol, there is my codeine, um, studeron because I do get a bit travel sick, then I've got Daisy Bell's um, Calpol, um, those are like little tablet ones, six plus I think they are, so they're really handy um, and light as well. I'm going to put those all in a handy little bag for us and then in another little bag I'm going to put some extra toiletries but haven't quite worked out like razors and things like that. Look at my nice neat little pile. There we go. Now you can visualize the suitcase. That's only going to take up like half of the suitcase or so. I think there are a few more bits to go in and I also need to do my hand luggage one as well. Ah, tea bags. You can take the British girl out of Britain but you can't take Britain out of the British girl. <laughs> Afternoon. Haha. <laughs> it's five days. Five days to go. Oh my goodness. And it's like only, oh wow, it's only like two and a half days until Daisy finds out. <sighs> Today I went and I got my toes done for the holiday. Have a look, have a look. <gasps> look at those bad boys. Hmm. Look at those. Oh, look. Don't they just look beautiful? <laughs> Honestly, I'm so, so pleased. They're so nice. If you have watched any of my Caring for Paralyzed Feet um, videos, I've got a summer one and I've got a winter one, I think, um, you'll know that I get my toes, sh not shellac, it's called gelation. I'm moving. <laughs> Which is a bit like um, shellac but it's not made with shells, just the ack. <laughs> no, it's gelation and um, I get that done once or twice a year. And what I have found is since having that, it sort of um, puts like a shell kind of protection over the nail. Um, so my nails are in a much better condition than they were before. There's um, still quite a lot of trauma to my nails where I sort of bash them and don't realize and but they are doing much better, thanks for asking. Um, and yeah, I really, really like it. And I um, kind of trust the lady who does it not to hurt me or, you know, she she knows and sort of understands um, what I want and how I want it done. Um, and if I'm in any pain or anything, then she's fine with that. Oh my God, am I like totally waffling about absolutely nothing? So yes, I got my toes done ready for this morning. So I thought I would show you them, super happy. And then tomorrow it's waxing day. <laughs> I won't show you the results of my wax though. I think that I'll leave it there. Um, but yeah, I get waxed ready. So we're all nice and beautiful and don't have to worry about anything. Um, and again, with the waxing, so I make sure and she does a test patch on the inside of my arm so that I can feel it and make sure it's okay. Today, I am going to sort of clean my wheelchair and get it ready for the journey. Really need to clean my grip odds, but they're really dirty and um, they kind of feel very gritty and sort of sandy. And I want to look my best for the journey. So I'm going to clean them. Oh, look, can you see down there? Yeah, all in there. It's all quite dirty. So I really want to look my best for the holiday. So I'm going to clean them. And I thought, I'll uh, let you watch me clean them. And also I'm going to talk about how I'm going to prep my chair ready for the flight. Hey, okay, booge. 
has come to join us today. Right, chair. And I have filled up a bucket of fairy liquid and I found a, a washing up, an old washing up brush. These grip pods are made of silicon. So I've decided to use fairy liquid. You may want to check what your chair is made with. I think I have heard that fairy liquid or some sprays can break down the rubber on your tires. So you might want to be careful of that. I'm doing this at my own risk. Um, and I'm not saying that you have to do this and I don't do this often. <laughs> I'm so pleased with how they turned out. I have now got a nice new bowl of water which has no detergent or no um, fairy liquid in at all and I'm just going to wipe them down but oh my gosh they are looking so much better I swear I thought they were just getting faded from the sun but they're not they were getting dirty and they look so good oh, I'm really pleased and also something else that was really bugging me was that they were kind of grubby and sandy and gritty which just didn't feel nice on my hands it didn't cause any pain or discomfort but it just didn't feel nice on my hands and my hands felt really dirty so in terms of preparing my wheelchair for the flight the first thing is i have the grip odds to go on the push rims which is great so that's going to protect the push rims um from any scratches or damages also it's going to be fantastic because it's going to be like that's my chair so it can't get muddled up with anybody else or any old grannies sitting in it <laughs> if you have seen some of my previous videos i've spoken about how we saw my wheelchair being used as one of the airport transportation wheelchairs but that's another story uh yeah so that is going to be fantastic for that now in terms of the frame um, it's carbon fibre, so obviously I don't want it to get cracked and damaged, and it is a bit of a worry. Some of the stickers on here have been damaged and scratched off already. I think that's probably from wear and tear, getting it in and out of cars, and also I think this did happen on a flight to Spain a while back. But that really doesn't bother me that much. If the actual frame was cracked, then that's a different story. Um, I've also got quite a lot of mechanisms on the frame here at the front where the foot plate comes down, as you can see, and I'm a little bit scared about these casters, but they do feel incredibly sturdy. The one thing that I am really worried about is my foot plate. So it comes up like this, because as you may be aware, I have a folding frame wheelchair, which I've been unbelievably happy with. Um, and I'm a bit worried about the this folding mechanism. So what we're gonna do is we are going to wrap this up with a bit of um, sponge to keep it protected and maybe protect these bottom bits as well. Now, what I have seen is wheelchair users protecting their frames with sort of foam piping, which I think is a fantastic idea if you are worried about your frame. Well, someone actually sent me a link um, and found, I found a, a link to the um, foam and it was quite expensive for what it is. So pop down to your local hardware store, get yourself some pipe insulator, and then all you need to do, cut down one side, and then you can stick it on, and then maybe ta tape it up. Obviously you can't take scissors with you, so make sure it's like sellotape or something that you can do with your teeth, um, or some string or something. But yeah, I think that's a really good idea. Just check it before you go. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it, but I think that's a great little hack. What do you think? Thumbs up. Another great little hack that I have seen, which is uh, not one of my own, is people have put cling film or saran wrap around their, oh. A little bit of a malfunction. I've put saran wrap around their push rims or cling film to keep them safe, which could work for you. I don't think it's something that I would try. All about a hack and a tip and a trick. Oh, and another thing that I'm gonna do is I have push handles on the back of my wheelchair. So I'm gonna make sure that those are nice and low so they can't get caught on anything and um, make sure that they're really, really tight. Another thing that I'm gonna do is I will take my cushion off and I will keep that with me. And another thing that I'm going to do is just before we get on the flight, I'm going to take some photos of it um, 
to show you what condition it was in before it went on the plane and then check it over when we get off. Um, but my advice is make sure that your wheelchair is covered when, when you um, go overseas or when you travel. Make sure you have insurance for it. You can get actual wheelchair insurance and I'll see if I can find a link to it if you're interested. Um, or I actually have my wheelchair named on my home insurance. So that puts my mind at rest. So if you have got any tips or ideas on what you do to look after your mobility equipment, your wheelchairs, please feel free to share it in the comments below um, because we can all do with some tips on um, keeping our wheelchairs safe. As you know, the baggage handlers are not sympathetic when it comes towards our mobility equipment and I've heard some horror stories about them just being chucked and I just dread to think what they do. Um, but yeah, I, th I really think there should be a little bit more training involved with the baggage handlers. I'm available Gatwick and Heathrow <laughs> and any other major airport that wants to hire me, I will come and do some training. Before you go overseas in an aeroplane with your wheelchair, make sure to put a um, travel luggage label on it. Um, I don't have my luggage label on it at the moment, but I do attach... Um, a luggage label here because you just never know I am editing this <laughs> mammoth vlog and I said that I was going to show you like my onboard flight bag but I'm not going to in this video hit that subscribe button turn that bell notification on because the next video is going to be a vlog of me going through the airport how it all works with my chair, all that malarkey, all that joy, and I'll show you what's in my onboard bag as well. That's going to be a good vlog, so do make sure you stick around for that, and I look forward to seeing you in that one.